What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nichols YouTube channel. This is top four of the Memphis League Cup. And on the left, we have Taylor. And on the right, we have Ryan, which is very interesting because in round number three, we actually saw the same match play out. And Taylor uh, convincingly took the, uh, convin took the win. Convincingly? Convincingly took the win? I don't know. We saw Taylor kind of just like destroy Ryan, easily take the game with her Mega Gardevoir, Salamence, Giratina deck versus Ryan's Evital, um Zoark deck. Now, warning, this is a very, very long match. So if you have something to do, well, forget it. Go grab some popcorn and watch this series. All right. So we see that Ryan does start with the Fright Night Evital, which he did not against Taylor in the first round, which is a little bit better because now he can shut down a lot of ta oh, it, it just shut down one thing, which is Taylor's uh, capability of evolving on her first turn. Now Ryan is going to play Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards, and what he's looking for is a Dark Energy to start using Pitch Black Spear the following turn and start hitting some Bench EX Pokemon. All right, so he gets an Evital. He's got a Max Luxor. Uh, okay, so going to Max Luxor. Look at top cards of his deck. Max Luxor, something, 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 and uh, there's a the last card with a Dark Energy. There you go. All right, so Dark Energy on that Evital EX because Max Luxor, look at top cards of your deck. If you find a basic energy, you attach it to one of your base Pokemon on your bench. And we'll see a pass on to Taylor's turn. And let's see, Taylor has an in, a Max Luxor, energy. Uh, okay. She's probably going to attach and then in regardless. Maybe put down the Fairy Garden um, just to have on the field. So, oh, oh, there, okay, that was easy. All right, she accidentally dropped it, but hey, it all panned out. There's a Fairy Garden, and do we see a Sycamore or an end? So he's going to Sycamore instead, discarding in energy, Max Luxor to get seven new cards, and she finds a Salamence EX. She can put down the Salamence and just Geomancy to one Pokemon, which is... I mean, actually, you probably just hold on to your hand right now because you don't want your Salamence to take damage. A Salamence only does 60 right now because it does 10 plus 50 for each EX on the field. And so uh, she can put down the Salamence, but it gets smacked for 60 next turn. We'll see Salamence come down, and we're going to see a Geomancy for one energy. All right, so... um. Yeah, we're going to see a Geomancy, put an energy on that Salamence, and the next turn she can attach a Double Dragon to it, or she can Fairy Energy to the active and start using Life Stream, which should do 20, 40, 60. That could be an interesting play, but we'll see. I mean, Ryan has a Dark Energy in hand. He can put on the active at all. Pitch Black Spear, do 40 and 60 to that Salamence, uh, putting Taylor in a weird situation. So, he, uh, okay, all right, Ryan's got a Parallel City. He can put that card down, uh, putting Taylor Bench down to three. But Taylor most likely plays a four Fairy Garden, so she's going to eventually win the Stadium War. We see another one in her hand automatically. So Dark Energy Active. He's got a Lysander, uh, but I don't think you're Lysander right now. I definitely think you just like smack the Active plus Salamence the X. And yeah, we're going to see 40 and 60 to the Bench. But it doesn't seem like a lot, but it does put a lot of pressure on Taylor. And Taylor top decks a Guardian. There we go. Uh, she's got a Fairy Guardian coming down. She's got a Double Dragon if she wants to put that down. Um, I wonder if she'll do that. She can put a Double Dragon on the Salamence and the Geomancy for a bunch of energies on the field. If she wants to do that, um, let's see. How will she play this out? She could just put an energy on the active Gardevoir, then Sycamore trying to find another Gardevoir, and then Geomancy two of those guys. Or she could double dragon this turn, and, uh, okay, let's see. So she is going to double dragon this Salamence. Okay. Which I think is a fine play. Either way, the problem right now is if Taylor wants to Mega Evolve, she has to, she has to end her turn, because that, even the Fright Night Evital is in the Axe spot. So we see a Geomancy get two energies on the field. But what Taylor could do next turn is a life stream for the knockout. Uh, that could be really cool. So two energies coming down. Yes, yeah, so could, she could put an energy in the active. Then 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140 to knock out that Fright on Evesol if she wants to do that play, which is really cool. All right, so uh, Ryan's will give a cut. And does Ryan find a supporter card? He didn't have one last turn. He's got an escape rope. He's got a Lysander. So what he could do is Lysander up the Salamence. And hit both the Salamence plus the Gardevoir. Uh, we're going to see an Escape Rope instead, though. All right, so Escape Rope. Taylor is going to promote the Guardi with the Energy. All right, and we'll see Evil Talk coming up. And let's see, does Ryan license the Salamence? And he will license the Salamence 
and Eve Ball for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Doing 140 plus 60 is 200 damage. Take a knockout. All right, so Ryan will take the first knockout. Going down to four price guards. We'll see an Eve Ball for 140. Do a 200 overall to that Salamence. Um, let's see what else does he have. He has a full stone in hand. Uh, got a gr Ultra Ball. I almost said Great Ball. Ultra Ball discarded delinquent and um a dark energy. And this is gonna grab a Zora. We know he has a Zork in his hand and a flow stone. So you can grab Zora, put a flow stone on it, and he's able to uh, stand in and uh, retreat whenever he wants to with his Zork, which is why Zork's so strong. Just be just having the ability to do that over and over again is ridiculous. Uh Zora coming down. Maybe he did have a flow stone, maybe I'm crazy. But either way, he's going to eat ball for the knockout going down to four prize cards. All right, so now Taylor cannot do that live stream play I was talking about, obviously, because it's knocked out. So, fair to do the uh, bench guardy. Shaman set up for four. Okay. So, dun, 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 dun. there's an in, double VS, uh, triple VS seeker in. Wow. And the fourth one is in her discard pile, so she will end automatically. Like, there's no way you put down a you sycamore because if you sycamore all of your vs seekers are gone so you see she's gonna end uh she's gonna get six and then ryan is going to get four um if ryan can find a zork plus a flowstone to get the pitch black spear even talk to the axe spot that could be really strong to start putting damage on the bench guard of 4ex that's probably the best situation you can have all right so let's see what do, do both players get ryan's gonna get four taylor's gonna get six I see a Guardy, a Fairy Garden, uh, no Spirit Link, which is what she wants right now. If she finds a Spirit Link, she can Mega Evolve this turn uh, without having to end her turn, like she will when Fright Night comes up. So let's see a Max Luxer, uh, three, six, doesn't find anything, unfortunately. She is down like three Fairy Dergies plus a three on the field, so there's six overall. The Elements did have two, and she did stick more away when the turn one. Uh, we'll see a Trainer's Mill. Look at top cards of her deck, and does she find a spear link? That is the big question. One, two, three, and there's a spear link, which is fantastic. Because now she can Mega Evolve without ending her turn, uh, which is obviously the worst thing you could do. Okay. And she can Geomancy for two more energies on the field. So we'll see a spear link. We will see a Mega Evolve, and we will see a Geomancy to get two fair energies out in the field. But how many fair energies are left in her deck? That is another big question. Like I said, she already has three in the discard pile, three on the field, and one in her hand. And let's see how many fairies are in there. There's energy evil, and there's one, two. I see only two fair energy. So fair energy on that guy, and a fair energy on that guy. So right now, he's, she's doing three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Um, if she finds a dragon Pokemon and a, and a double dragon, she can take a knockout next turn. Uh, but let's see what Ryan decides to do. Going to draw a card. Okay. Um, let's see. He's got an Enhanced Hammer, a Trainer's Mill, look at top cards of his deck. Let's see, a Hex Maniac, a Lysander, something, a Dark Energy, and something else. What he could do is maybe license the Guardi and hit it before it comes up if he wants to do that play. I don't know what it's, what's in his hand. Looks like he's going to grab a Lysander, okay. And who does he Lysander? Um... I kind of wish he had a way to send in the Zork, because if he or send in the Evital, because if he could pitch Black Spear while Lysander the Shaman, that's obviously like the most optimal play for sure. So let's see. Um, he's got a Lysander, a Dark Energy, Enhanced Hammer. Okay, there's a Fighting Fuel to the active, and um, we might just see an Evil Ball most likely. We could see a Y Cyclone, maybe. There's a Dark Energy going to the active. Okay. But if Taylor can find a Dragon Pokemon and a Double Dragon, she can take out the knockout this turn. But with the Lysander, one, two, three, four, five, he can Lysander Shaman take a knockout. Wow. So, yeah, I think you definitely Lysander Shaman. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's uh, 110 right now. So, Lysander, bring up that Shaman. No, he's going to bring up the Guardian instead. Okay. Bring up the Guardian. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. 130 minus 20 is 110 to that Mega Gardevoir, which, uh, like I said, if Taylor finds a Dragon Pokemon and a Double Dragon, she can take a knockout on this guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, 150 minus 20 is 130. There we go. Either way, uh, Ryan's in trouble, so there's a Fairy Gene on that guy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
It's only 180, so that is not enough for a knockout right now. Uh, the Fighting Field will save it. There's a Via Seeker for Sycamore. Discard her hand, draw seven of cards. Okay, there's a Giratina, a Lysander. So either way, she didn't have the Double Dragon. Um, Let's see, Taylor could retreat and live stream this turn. I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do 120. In the next turn, uh, man, I mean, if Ryan has another Lysander, he can take all those energies off the field. Uh, which is not good at all, guys. So, see a Guardy coming down. Uh, she's got a Trainer's Mail. There's a, a Hoopa. She can use Scoundering to search for three EX Pokemon. But I don't know what she's really digging for. Uh, so she's got a Hoopa. <laughs> she can probably find a Shaman. Uh, there's a Mega Guardy. Uh, there's another Mega Guardy. I do not see another Shaman in her deck, though. Um... So grab a, gonna grab a Mega Guardi, okay. And maybe another Mega Guardi? That's what she's kind of eyeballing right now. Hmm. So, yeah, gonna grab Meg, two Mega Guardies and a Gardevoir, okay. Alright, alright. Then let's see what Taylor does here. Does she treat and, uh... Use Xerneas Break, or does she just hit the active for a ton of damage? It does not knock it out, unfortunately, because that Fighting Fury Belt. Um, either way, Taylor is in trouble for sure. So, Taylor could put down maybe a, a Guardi if she wants to. Um, go look at the Pitch Block Spirit Evitol. Make sure she knows exactly what it does. It does 60 to the active, 60 to the bench, uh, 12, 13. Uh, pitch Block Spear does not knock it out, even if she retreats, because it does 190. Uh, so that doesn't really matter too much. Okay. So let's see. What does Taylor do here? Does she play Trainer's Mill? I just put down a Guardi. Does she put down Giratina? Does she a live stream? Does she... I mean, either way, she's in trouble for sure, guys. That is the key thing right now. Um, but let's see. What does Taylor do? She's got a Lysander Trainer's Mill. She's already played a Sporter card. Will she... Um, so Train as well, look at tough cards of her deck. Uh, she finds a Max Luxor in her retrieval, so she's going to play the retrieval, get two energies out of her discard pile, but she already attached to that Xerneas break. Um, so go to inner retrieval, go to two fair energies out of discard pile, so there's one, there's two, okay. The two energies go into her hand. All right. And we will see, does she despair ray or... Uh, See what she does. I mean, not Despair Ray, uh, Brilliant Arrow, or does she Life Stream? So she's going to hit for 180 damage, which does not take a knock on Unfortunate. So 6, 12, 18. All right, so the key thing about this is Ryan cannot send in that Fright on Evitol. If he does, well, his uh, own Evitol, yes, gets knocked down. So a DC on that guy. We'll see a Via Seeker. Okay. Um, he could play a Lysander, maybe, to bring up a Shaman for a knockout, like I said earlier. <laughs> uh, looks like he is going to grab a Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven of cards, okay. And all he needs next turn is a, uh, what he needs right now is a Zork. <clears throat> and then a VS sticker for the following turn, and he can win this game. Does he find a Zork or not? And I, uh, okay, so Zork coming down, he has another Evatol Yex, he could... 12, 13, he can why Cyclone for the knockout? If, uh, for the knockout, if he wants to do that. Uh, to conserve energy, which could be really cute. Like, why Cyclone to New Evatol, that could be really good. If I'm Ryan, I definitely put down the Zora, I put down the Evatol, I just play as much as my cards down, so if Taylor does end me, I have a less likely option of drawing to these Pokemon. Um, so, we'll see a why Cyclone, most likely. It does 80. Uh, which enough for a knockout. Okay. So yeah, gonna Y Cyclone for the knockout. Gonna put energy on that bench. Evatol. Alright, so there we go. 100 damage. Minus 20 is 80, so 210. Unless Mega Guardi has 220 HP. But yeah, it should be enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has 210 HP, like I said. Um Yeah, either way, we, we got it. Alright, so there we go. So on the Taylor's turn, she's gonna put that Xerneas with the uh, two energies on it. But now Taylor is in a pickle. Uh, she's going to put down a, uh, a Link. She's got a Meg on her hand. And she's got an inch. So she will end Ryan down to two. But then, oh man. Uh, Taylor has to like draw like crazy. She has an energy for a turn. So she put that down. 
Uh, yeah, she definitely attached turn. Life stream would do 20, 40, 60, 80, which is enough to knock out the active. Okay. Um, so, fear did you to the Gardevoir. Okay. And if I'm Taylor, I don't put down any more Pokemon. 3, 6, 9, because right now the Zorks only do 100 damage. So, a Guardi coming down, and we'll see an end most likely. No, go to Light Center, up the uh, Fright Knight, take a knockout on the active you all, which is a really cute play. Uh, but now Ryan has a Via Seeker in his hand. And if Taylor puts down that Pokemon, it's game over um, for sure. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. She's only doing 20, 40, 60, 80. It does she put down the Pokemon, and she will put down that Pokemon, which will give Ryan the game, because now he can light another Shaman and do 130 damage. Mind Jack does 10 plus 30 for each bench Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, she can live stream and only do 20, 40, 60, 80. But then Ryan can light that Giratina, or light the Shaman, and stand in plus Mind Jack for the game. All right, so on Ryan's turn, he's going to draw a card. He can be a secret for the Lysander. Bring up the Shaman and win the game. All right, so there's a Via Seeker. Oh, 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 wait a second. He's going to make sure the Life Center is in the discard pile, which it is. Okay. So we'll see a Via Seeker for a Light. Okay, there's a Stand In coming in. All right, so Stand In, Via Seeker for Life Center. Bring up the Shaman, and we'll see a Mind Jack for the knockout. Either way, Taylor was in such a bad situation. You do see the second Shaman is prized, like she was looking for earlier. All right, so that game was, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's weird. Ryan started with the Fright Night Yvetal, which did change things dramatically. In the first game that Taylor and Ryan played, Ryan did not find a uh, Fright Night Yvetal until like very late into the game, which I think is the key. If you can get a Fright Night off very quickly, you can start putting pressure on your opponent, do 60 60, just spread the damage while having uh, make it where your opponent can't use their. Uh, their Spear Leaks to evolve, like they have to end their turn to evolve. It's just a deadly combination with Fright Night Evil Tall. And that's the key thing. Can Ryan find those Fright Night Evil Talls early enough? And if he does, he'd be in a great spot. But blow players are going to shuffle up. Going to get seven new cards. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. And which deck do you want to see win, guys? Do you want to see this uh, crazy Mega Gardevoir Silence? Not crazy. Oh, sorry, guys. That was really loud. I apologize. I apologize. Rest in peace, earphone users. I, I, yep, yeah, that was probably really loud. So, uh, sorry about that. Alright, but, uh, let's see. Do we see Taylor, do we want Taylor to win with her Mega Gardevoir Salamence Giratina deck? Or do you want Evatol Zorark to win? Now, usually when you see Evatol, you see Evatol Garboder. You We really don't see Evatol Gar uh, Zorark that much. But, you see today, there is a ton of it. I mean, not a ton. It was two people playing it, but it felt like a ton. Uh, when you look at the room, the top tables are two of those guys. The other Evatol Zorark player did make top cut he made top eight but it did eventually lose uh to a mega requaza jolteon deck which is very interesting for sure but both players are going to shelf up or to game number two uh the way it works out whoever loses gets decided they want to go first or second and taylor will most likely decide to go first for sure so i'm uh, going to get a good little shuffle and let's see what happens in the game number two guys and uh can Taylor have a better start this time, and will Ryan start that Fright at Evatol to put a bunch of pressure back on a Taylor? All right, so uh, Taylor's got a Xerneas, I see that for sure, and uh, Ryan has a Zora plus an Evatol EX. So what Ryan can do is start the Zora in the Axe spot, put down the Evatol EX, catch a DCE, and maybe get a uh, uh, an Eve Ball off turn one. And you'll see Taylor does start that Xerneas, like I said. So here we go, guys. On the game. Actually, Ryan's going to go first, I think. All right. So uh, Ryan's going to play a train as well. Look at top cards of his deck. Okay, so Taylor's actually going to opt to go second, which is very interesting because most lists, you always see your opponent. I mean, I think you always want to go first. No matter what, what, no matter what deck it is, you always want to go first. I am like 99.9% .9 sure. I know Taylor's actually probably thinking like Geomancy, really good. Want to get that off ASAP, but I don't know. I don't. I think I'd rather touch energy, try to get my Pokemon down, and go that route. So we see Ryan's gonna play Max Luxer, gonna look at top cards of his deck. Okay. All right, doesn't find anything. All right. So with on the Max Luxer, okay. Uh, he's got a DC in hand, but does he? He has an Ultra Ball as well. So he, what he could do is Ultra Ball, discard a Sycamore and an Evital Azuric Break. To find a Fright Knight. That is the key right now. If he finds a Fright Knight, he can attach a DC to it and have a turn two bitch pitch black spear. 
All right, so see even tell X, but you want to go for Fright Knight. That is the key. You want, oh, he's going to grab Shaman. He already has a Via Seeker for a uh, Sycamore. You don't need a Shaman right now. You need a Fright Knight. All right, so he, I saw him pass Fright Knight, but it looks like he is eyeballing the Shaman. If you grab the Fright Knight, you put a DC on it, you can set up, and I uh, know you you just, you just start swinging next turn. But he is going to grab a Shaman, unfortunately. All right. But he's got plans. He made it to top four. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to play Pokemon. He has uh, made it this far, so he, he knows what he's doing. Um, maybe he wants to load up a John Evasol and just knock out Gardevoirs that way. Since they do need three energies. So there's a DC and a Seamus set up for five new cards. All right. Uh, okay, he finds a Max Luxor, Max Luxor. A bunch of Max Luxor plus a Flustone. So Flustone the active. We'll see a Max Luxor. Does he hit one this time or not? He already he's uh, already missed the first one. Uh, four, five, and six. All right, there's a Dark Energy. Going to the Eomatol Yex. Okay. This is a lot going on Ryan's turn. He got a Zora, puts a Flowstone, Eovatol with a Dark Energy, uh, DCE. So he's having a phenomenal turn one. He has a Sycamore in his hand already, but he could just pass. He really doesn't need to dig for anything else. But let's see, does he play the Sycamore or not? Uh, he's looking through his discard pile, looking to see what his hand, and we'll see a pass on to Taylor's turn. All right, so Taylor has an Ultra Ball, a Fear Energy. It should most likely have to play this in. Or an in. Alright, so discards it and a sycamore. And the reason why oh she could have grabbed Hoopa if she plays Hoopa. I don't know if she Oh she does play Hoopa. So yeah, she can just grab Hoopa. Use Scoundering search for three EX Pokemon. She grab a Guardi Guardi and a Giratina. Which seems really good. Or a Shaman. Alright, there's Shaman. We'll see a Guardi and a Guardi most likely. Oh, a Salamence? Okay. Uh so Guardi and a Salamence. I think I'd rather grab two Guardies. Um, Salamence isn't going to be that useful right now. It's only doing 110 with two EXs in the field. And I don't think Ryan's going to ever have that many EXs in the field. I see, see uh, that guy coming down. We see a Shaman setting up for three. Okay, there's a Spear League, which is fantastic. And we'll probably see an end. Um, so Max looks here, okay. Look at the top cards of her deck. And she finds one for that Gardevoir already. And then, like I said, we'll most likely see an N. Or she can just hold on his hand and just Geomancy, which either one is fine. And let's see what she decides to do. Uh, like I said, she could just Geomancy, and that way she can Mega Evolve next turn and start the party. See, so yeah, I just go to Geomancy, put a Fairy Energy on that Salamence, and a Fairy Energy on that Guardi. So Guardi getting energy, Salamence getting energy, and on to Ryan's turn. Let's see what is going to happen. Now, he does have energy, DCE. Um... He can Sycamore, discard his hand, draw 70 cards. He can put a DC on somebody. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, it doesn't take a knockout yet on that Xerneas on the act spot. It has 130 HP. And on a Ryan's turn, he finds a... I don't know what card that was he top decked. Maybe another Evital Yex. Um, not sure. So the DC on the Evital, okay. And this is what I'm scared of. Ryan's going to go all in on this Evital, but once Taylor knocks it out, he's not going to have anything else ready to attack. So let's we'll see Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Okay. And let's see. What does he find? Does he find a Zork? He finds another Max Luxor. Okay. So he hits the energy. He have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that's still not enough for knockout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's eight. That actually will be a knockout. Yeah, so Max looks here, okay. Does he find a Dark Energy, Parallel City, Ultra Ball, Parallel City, Ultra Ball, Dark Energy, and something else. So he will find a Dark Energy, and he can Eve Ball for the knockout. It's doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, yeah, so 160 minus 20 is 140, and it will knock out that Xerneas. All right, so that's a pretty good start for Ryan. He's got a Shaman as well. He can Shaman for looks like just one. Mostly he's an opt to keep that in hand. And just Eve Ball for a ton of damage. Taking a knockout on that Xerneas. Okay. All right. So it is paying off for him. He's going to Eve Ball for the knockout. Going down to five prize cards. All right. So on to Taylor's turn, what does she do? Now she does play that Fair Garden. What gives a free retreat to her Pokemon with Fair Energy. But she's got to find one. That's the key thing. All right. Maybe she won't promote it. Okay. Doing the math. Um, yeah, okay. They're making sure, yeah, it's, it's enough for knockout for sure. So, Gardevoir coming up. Oh, Taylor's turn. She finds a Skyla. She finds a Gardevoir. And she'll have to play it in. Uh, but the only thing is, 
Taylor's, unless she plays Mega Turbo, she can't take a knockout this turn. She can do 3, 6, 9, 12. Uh, she needs a Mega Turbo plus a Double Dragon to take a knockout this turn. That would be enough for a knockout. That would be 180, uh, which would take a knockout on that E of Tall X. But does she play Mega Turbo? I'm not sure. Um, she could also find two Max Luxers plus an energy. That would take a knockout. Um, yeah, that would be a knockout for sure. So there's a double dragon. I see a fair energy. And I don't see a mega turbo. Like I said, I don't even know if she plays one. Um, what she could do is maybe attack with Salamence this turn. If she wants to put damage on that guy. But then it could be knocked out. Um... Let's see, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, if she attacks with Salamence, it's getting knocked out. Um, if she attacks with the Gardevoir, and let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's pretty much no way he could take a knockout. Uh, so let's see what Taylor decides to do. Uh, does she put an energy in the active and use... Uh, I think you put an energy in the active and you attack with the Mega Guardi this turn. And then next turn, you use Salamence to claim the... To knock out the E of it all. So see if Fairy Gently active. Okay. So 3, 6, 9, 12. We'll see Brilliant Arrow for a 120. I never said this, but Brilliant Arrow does 30 times the amount of Fairy Gents to play. So when you have a double dragon, it counts as two fairies. So you do like plus 60, which is really nice. And we'll see Brilliant Arrow do 120 damage. Alright, so on Ryan's turn. He's got a dark energy. I need. Mean, there's no way he's taking a knockout. Um, it has two ten HP. It essentially has two thirty, which is what he needs to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The max. Well, if he finds a DC, he puts a fighting fear belt. That would be enough for a knockout. But then Salamence knocks you out instead. So I think the play right now is to Y Cyclone to do um, seventy two active, which is really cool. Uh, so the old spot is creating two dark energies. Okay. Probably finding another Evatol YX. I still think the whole route of going uh, Fright Knight would have been better, but he is too far committed in this Evatol YX, and he's gonna grab a Shaman, okay. Got some Fright Knights in there, okay, so gonna grab a Shaman, okay. Right now, he's gonna set up for five new cards, unless that card in his hand is something else he can play down. He's gonna set up for five new cards, okay. Um, but what are you digging for? I guess another Evatol YX. I think that's the big thing. Actually, he has like three cards in his hand. So, see, Shaman set up for four. So, three, four, five, and six. Okay. I see a Zork. Uh, he put that down this turn, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, it probably doesn't matter too much in the grand scheme of things. He could have just put on the one with the Flowstone. Okay, and he has it in. I don't think it matters. Unless... Yeah, it actually like benefits him more to evolve the one with the flowstone. I'm pretty sure the flowstone one, yeah, was down like forever ago because that was what he started with. So was we'll he a via seeker? Uh, does he play Sycamore here? That's a lot of stuff to discard. He is gonna play a Sycamore. Wow, so he's gonna play Sycamore. He could end right now, but instead he's gonna Sycamore discard more dark energies and just a ton of stuff. He is just drawn through his deck like crazy, and he had a sound lab. He could have put down a sound lab to like shut down his opponent's buildings, but he finds a DC. Um, he's gonna put an Evatol X down. So what he could do is Y cycle in this turn. Uh, like I said, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, all right. Yep, no dark energies. He's got two in the active and like a billion in the discard bell. So <sighs> Max looks are not gonna hit anything. He can attach a DC to the bench Evatol X or to a Zork. What he can do is put a DC on the bench Zork. Uh, there is the Apparel City. He's gonna put himself down to three to discard both the Shamans. Gonna put a DC to the active. This is not enough for a knockout. This is not enough for a knockout. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, I'm pretty sure that was not enough for a knockout. Unless I'm crazy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That should be 200. Um, we'll keep playing along. Um, either way, it's I don't think I mean it's too late now, but double dragon goes to the active. Right now, it's swinging for 110 damage, which will knock out the active. And yeah, Taylor going down to four price guards. I mean, who knows? I, I mean, last game I did the math fairly wrong with the um, with the uh, what is it, the Mega Gardevoirs? I kind of missed out on that. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah, that's. I don't think it's a knockout. But on to uh, Ryan's turn. He's got a Sycamore. He's got a Lysander. He is down three DCEs right now. 
which is not good. Um, he had three DCs on that Eventide X. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. Maybe he does enough. For, I don't know. I don't know. All right, all right. So we'll see. Uh, for Ryan, he has a Ultra Ball. He's going to discard two cards from his hand. And what can he do? Like I said, he's down three DCs. He, that's for sure. He's down three DCs. There's nothing else changing from that. He's going to discard a Hex. And go to discard a Lysander. What Ryan could do is he grab a Zorg Break if it's in his deck still. And actually take a knockout by copying the Salamence attack. If, if the Zorg Break still in his deck. I see Zorg. Is the Zorg Break still in there? He must have already discarded it. Yeah, he could have foul play, copied Salamence attack, do 210 damage, going down to one price guard. That would be insane, but I guess he must have already discarded it. Actually, if I look through his deck again, I don't think I see any energies in there. Oh, let me see your deck one more time. I don't think I saw any energies. I know he plays Super Rye, but uh, he's in a bad situation. He has no energies in there. So, uh, let's see, what, okay, Zor Evital Break, okay, oh, uh, duh, there's Sycamore, okay, all right, I do not see, um, okay, all right, so he's in trouble, his only play right now is, like, a life center Hoopa and hope it stalls out forever till he wins the game, but that doesn't really work, so we're gonna see Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven to guards, um, but I'm not sure what he's digging for, because he is in trouble, he's got a Super Rod, okay, so he can Super Rod it, shuffle, oh, there's a DC in his hand, Okay, so he's going to Super Rod. Probably shuffle three darks back in his hand. There's one, two, and then three, four, five. Six. There's like a ton of there. There's Zork breaking. There he is. There's the monster. Foul play Zork. Man, I love that card so much. It was so good last year, Cities. Um, but yeah, he's going to shuffle. Okay, all right. Can Zork play? Can Zork come out and play? That's the question. Can it foul play? If it does, oh man, I'm going to be so excited. That play was probably one of one of my favorite attacks to use. But let's see, what does Ryan do here? He could set up the Fright Knight Evital and just pass. Um, he could put a DC on the Zor on the Evital X, and that could be a thing as well. We'll see if Fighting will go to the Evital X. I think you put a DC on the Evital X. I think that's definitely the play right now. Because you don't want to put it... Okay, he's going to put it on the active. Uh, okay, all right. Hmm. Because right now he can mind jack, but it's not going to take enough for knockout. And the Salamence just swings doing 110. Actually, it's 60. So, yeah. All right, never mind. His, uh, his Salamence is still kicking. It's still, I mean, Salamence is not taking a knockout this turn. So, that's good. Never mind. I'm, I'm silly, guys. I forgot that he knocked out an EX last Or Taylor knocked out an EX. So, right now, uh, Salamence can only do 60 damage, which does not knock out a Zorg. So, on Taylor's turn, she's going to play a Trainer's Mill. Uh, there's a Shaman, Spirit Link, Hex Maniac. Um... We're gonna grab the spear link. Let's see. Three, six, nine, twelve. Alright, if Taylor, I still don't know if she plays Mega Turbo. But if she does play Mega Turbo, she can Mega Evolve, Mega Turbo Energy for the get knockout. Or she can Max Luxer, which I do see in her hand. I do see a Max Luxer. So let's see. Does she find an energy with this Max Luxer? Okay, it's six new cards coming down. And does she find one? And she unfortunately does not find one. Oh my goodness. If she had found one, she could have taken a knockout. Right, so I'm gonna put those cards in the discard pile. They're not good anymore. She's got a spirit link and she's got a fairy energy. So I'm gonna fairy energy the active and actually use Salamence's second attack. All right, so there's a spirit link coming down. Okay, and uh, I forgot what Sal. Oh man, I'm gonna go Salamence's second attack does. I know it takes a knockout. It just needs four energies to attack. Uh, Dragon Strike does 130. But still, what Ryan could do. If he finds if he finds a Zorg break, he can attach energy, Zorg break, and use foul play to take a knockout, which would be fantastic. So we see Trainer's Mill, look at top cards of his deck. Okay, there's a Ranger, Energy, Energy, and something else. Okay. And uh, let's oh a team flagrant actually, okay. That could be really good. Um So he could team flagrant and discard the double dragon off Taylor's Salamence. Hmm. Uh, looks like he's not going to get anything. He needs to find that Zorak plus a energy, a Zorak break plus energy. That way he can foul play for the knockout, uh, which is the key right now. So let's see what does he decide to do. There's an end. Both players will shuffle up. He'll get three, and she'll get three as well. Uh, she can't attack. Can she? Can he not use the attack again, or can he not attack again? 
You can't use Dragon Strike during her next turn. All right, so she can't use Dragon Strike next turn, but she could play a Ranger. That could get around it. I think she does play that in her deck. So she could play a Ranger to use Dragon Strike again, which would be really cute. Most who have both players are going to get three new cards. All right, unless he does, Ryan, find Energy plus a Zarg Break. I do not see it in his hand, unfortunately. He's got a Lysander, Parallel City, and a Team Flare Grunt. So let's see pass on a Taylor's turn. She gets an N. Okay. She will put down the Fairy Guard and give free to the Salamence. Trainer's Mill, look at the top cards of her deck. Uh, I see a Double Dragon. I don't see anything else besides that, though. Alright, so the question is, what does Taylor via Seeker for? She has a via Seeker in her hand. But what does she get? Does she get a, a Sycamore? Does she get a Ranger? If she gets a Sycamore, she needs an Energy plus a Max Elixir plus a Mega Guard to take a knockout this turn. Uh, so yeah, she's definitely going to Sycamore. I don't think she has a Ranger discard pile, so Sycamore going into her hand. And we'll see a via Seeker for Sycamore. Discard her hand, draw seven new cards. Alright, does Taylor find an Energy Plus a Guard of War, and nope, I don't see. Okay, I see Giratina. All right, so we can see uh, some Chaos Will action, maybe. All right, so we can see Gear the Giratina coming down with a Double Dragon. That could be really spooky. So show me the money. Show me Giratina plus a Double Dragon. It only do 60 damage, though. Um, so there's one DC. There's two. There's three. Four. All right, so all four DCs are gone. But still, I think you have to put down the double dragon and the, uh, yeah, there you go. I think that's the correct play for sure. And uh, let's see. Does Taylor pass? Oh, Seamus setting up for three. Actually, she can't even Mega Evolve. If she Mega Evolves, her turns ends because that Fright Knight is in the Axe Spot. I forgot about that. So, six new cards. Taylor does not find another energy. Oh, my goodness. Double with on the max losers, unfortunately. That's that's not good, guys. That's not good. All right. So, let's see. Does Taylor retreat? She is going to retreat to the Giratina and just pass. Okay. All right. So, we see a pass from Taylor. Okay. So, on Ryan's turn, he finds a Dark Energy. Now, like I said, he can put a Dark Energy in that Evital. He can use uh, a Team Fragrant to discard the Double Dragon off the active. Uh, Parallel City, going to put Taylor down to three. Uh, with this, she'll probably discard Double Shamans. No, she's going to discard... Oh, he's going to put himself down to three. There's a Double Dragon, and we'll see a pass on a Taylor's turn. Okay. There's a Max Luxor. All right, Taylor, try number 500. Does she find Energy with this Max Luxor or not? So, let's see. What does Taylor... Can she find energy? That's to be a question. Right now, that Giratina is stranded up in the active spot, and unfortunately, so that's not good. It's not good at all, guys. So, um, let's see. See a Via Seeker. Okay. She's going to play a Sycamore, discard her hand, draw seven new cards. I see Xerneas Break. I see a Gardevoir. I see an Ultra Ball. I, once again, do not see any energies in Taylor's hand. Oh, my goodness. She needs to find a Super Rod. She needs to somehow get these energies back in her deck so she can start attacking. Oh, this is not looking good for Taylor. But I mean, Ryan doesn't really have much either. All he has is a Lysander. So we see an Ultra Ball discarding a Xerneas Break and a Gardevoir. There's a Mosa Grab, a Mega Gardevoir. There's two energies in her discard in her deck. I see them right now, but I do not see another Max Luxor. Okay. So, if you're Taylor, do you grab the Mega and just Mega Evolve in your turn? I think that's a fine play for sure. But it's 3-3 three to three on price cards. How is... Oh, no, I don't even know. I don't know how this is going to play out. If Ryan top decks a Zorg Break, he can license in there, bring up that Salamence, and hit for uh, so much damage. That is the thing. So, does she just Mega Evolve to end her turn? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't think she has any more max elixirs left. So yeah, we'll see a mega ball. Maybe oh nope, maybe not. Hold on, hold on, wait for it. Wait, okay, she's gonna oh despair ray comes out to play. Alright, so despair ray is going to line. And did he top deck a did he just tip top deck a Zark break? Please tell me it's Zark break. Is that a Zark break? I thought I saw one. Um Let's see, let's wait and see. If it's a Zark break, he's gonna lice into bring of the Salamence. Take a knockout, but the Taylor can maybe take a knockout. Uh, there's Dark Break. Oh, my goodness. Lice into that Salamence. Come on. Let's see. Oh, man. Yes. Okay, hold on. No, no. Don't don't, don't attack with Hoopa. I mean, you can Hyperspace Fury. 
I mean, you can hyperspace fury, uh, knock out the the, the mega salamence. Okay, that's that's a cool play. You do 100 damage to that, knock it out. Okay, so see a Lysander. Um, bring up the salamence. There we go. All right, so here we go. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, doing 206 damage, knocking out that salamence. Oh my goodness. All right, so on a Taylor's turn, what does she do now? Oh man, that Zark is a scary monster. He can copy any attack on Taylor's side of the field for one dark energy. Oh man. So let's see, how does Taylor figure out how to win this game? All right, uh, like I said, does she play Mega Turbo? We still do not know. If she plays Mega Turbo, she might have a chance. Uh, but either way, it's looking very, very, very bad for Taylor right now. So let's see, what does she decide to do? What does she bring up? Uh, she's looking to see what's going to happen. Um, man, let's see. Okay, all right, she's looking to her hand. She can bring up Shaman, uh, Giratina come up, okay. <sighs> but then, if you bring up Giratina, he, he can Chaos Will, maybe lock a Stadium in play if he has another one. Um, this is weird for Taylor. Mm. What to do? So, I'm going to bring up the Hoopa with the Hyperspace Fury. All right, so Ryan's turn, I mean, Taylor's turn to a top deck of Spearling, which is not very good. She's got a Sycamore, okay, so she's going to... Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards, okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, okay, all right. So we see, she does have a fear to G, okay, so she's gonna fear to G the Gardevoir. She's gonna retrieval, put two more fear to Gs back in her hand, okay. There's one, there's two, all right, so she's starting to get there. Now, if you're or Super Rod, shuffle three back in her hand, sorry, that was retrieval, but Super Rod, shuffle three back in her deck. Now, if you're Ryan, what I think you do here is you Hyperspace Fury the Giratina, or the Shaman. You definitely don't Hyperspace Fury the Mega Gardevoir. I know it seems like the correct play, but um, if you Hyperspace Fury the uh, the Shaman or Giratina, so you can take a two-shot on it. But if you Hyperspace Fury the Gardevoir, you can't two-shot it, unfortunately. All right, so let's see. What does Taylor do here? Uh, we'll probably see a pass on Ryan's turn. Okay. So the Ryan's turn is going to draw a card. There's a Dark Energy. Okay. I think you Dark Energy... I don't even know. Um, Maybe the e, the Fright on Evital? Because if you still have a... Okay, there's a Dark Energy on active. Okay, so 3, 6, 9, 12. There's no Lice in your hand. I definitely think you would attach it to a Bench Pokemon, though. Hmm. So he's doing the math. I think you definitely Hyperspace Fury a Shaman. Uh, he's gonna hit the active, okay? That's fine. Either one is fine. Uh, he's gonna mind jack actually. Three, six, nine, twelve. On a Taylor's turn, okay. She's got a fairy energy. You can put it on the Hoopa, okay. Uh, gonna retreat to the Guardi. But does it comes down to this? Does she have a way to uh, attack this turn? Does she play Mega Turbo? She needs a Mega Turbo right now. Um, hmm. So, we'll see a pass on a Ryan's turn, okay. Alright. So, alright, gonna look to his discard pile. And let's see what's all in there. If he had the Lysander, he'd go in right now. He can license the Hoopa, take a knockout with Hyperspace Fury. Uh, but right now, it looks like he might have to Mind Jack. He's gonna look to his discard pile. There's an Ultra Ball, a Nevatol, okay. I don't, eh, I guess putting on Evatol is fine. If she ends you, you can draw into more. Uh, she can, he can fight if you with the other Evatol as well. To make it have more HP. And I think well, what you could do is you can be risky. Nah, if you despair, right, you, you just lose the game because, yeah, she can discard our Pokemon. <sighs> I still would have liked to see a despair right on or a high space fury. That would have been sick. So let's see what he decides to do. He could retreat into an Evital EX and put a, a fighting free belt on it. Just wait until I make a VS Seeker. That could be really cool. Uh, but he's deciding what to do right now. Um, he's doing some math here. I mean, if you don't have energy, you definitely don't leave the Zork in the act spot. It's your only attacker. You have nothing else to do. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna mind jack this turn. If Taylor finds energy, that's oh there's energy top deck. Oh my goodness. Well, she had a license anyway, so that's pretty much going to be game. I think uh, she's gonna put an energy in the active. She's gonna put down a Xerneas, and she needs to do one. 50 HP, which he has, he has discard four Pokemon. 
Um, so you discard with the Hoopa, Shaman, Shaman, and... Uh, I mean, you could discard all five. So that way Ryan can't life center stall for game. Um, so you see it's Hoopa getting knocked out, or Hoopa being discarded, Shaman being discarded, Shaman being discarded, and which one does she keep? Okay, maybe just 140 HP. So there we go, taking a knockout. Oh, man. And see, I think I would have rather kept that energy on an evital yex or something just to give you a chance to win this game i'm gonna draw a card okay there's a dark energy oh see he could maybe attack this turn mm. so i think you still dark energy at evital yex okay no i think you still i think you still energy the the active the active because i don't know i don't know we'll see a pass on the taylor's turn okay she got a lysander she could bring out that evital yex um, so gonna light something you talk without the energy, okay? And this is pretty much oh man, because she's gonna despair ray to hit it for 110, right? And then next turn she can despair ray again for 110 to win the game. Oh man, this is a crazy game number two. Both players not really do anything for a long time. And uh we'll see despair ray for 110. Probably not discarding anything on the rise turn. He top decks and escape rope. Okay, alright, so he can escape rope. I think it's escape rope. Maybe it's not an escaper. Yep, there's an escaper. All right. So who does Taylor bring up? I mean, probably the the Giratina and has more HP. Uh, Ryan's gonna bring up the energy Evital. No, oh no! I think you bring up the, the Evital with the one energy. So that way, if you top deck energy, you can start swinging. Oh no! All right. So on the Taylor's turn, because Ryan can't attack anymore. Okay. So pass on the Taylor. She gets a fear energy. Uh, she's got free retreat now because the fairy garden. So that's not good. So fair to the Giratina. Okay. So two cards left for Taylor. Uh, but she's got a Skyla. She shouldn't be that concerned about decking out. I mean, maybe she is. I don't know. I don't know what's left in her deck. I don't know what's left in there. Um, what Taylor can do is put an energy in the active, retreat, and despair raid, knocking out both his Pokemon. To make it where Ryan can't lie send everybody up and um, have one prize card left. I think that's what she could do. Yeah, 110, 120, 130. That's enough for a knockout. Okay. All right. All right. So let's see. What does Taylor decide to do? She'll look through her discard pile and see what's all in there. Does she have anything left? Is there something in her discard pile? I mean, in her deck left to use? Is there a energy left in her deck? She hasn't played a supporter card this turn. So she could Skyla this turn to see what's in there. What her last two cards are, or she can leave it, leave it a mystery. That's fine as well. But I think either way, you discard both the Giratina and Xerneas. Take a knockout, going down to one price card. All right, so there is a energy retrieval. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if I like that play. I think you just Skyla to see what's left in your deck. All right, so there we go. So Skyla, there is a Xerneas, and I don't know what the other card was. No, I saw a Xerneas, but I'm not sure on the other one. She's not going to grab anything, and she is going to despair, Ray. Right? Ryan to make sure he gives that good low cut. <laughs> or was that a shuffle? Was that a shuffle or a cut? I don't know. If he shuffled it, Taylor's allowed to cut her deck again. Mm. Um, but we'll see Taylor going to use a... Got a double dragon, a fairy garden, something else. I definitely think you just discard both the Giratina and the Xerneas. She's got an Ultra Ball. She can grab a the Xerneas in her deck. There's a Mewtwo EX showing up on the screen, and we'll see a Despair Raid knocking out both Pokemon. Alright, so she goes down to one price card. Alright, so let's see what Ryan does here. Gonna send up the uh, Evital on the Ryan's turn. Has a VS Seeker uh, with two cards left. Okay. Alright, this is when you VS Seeker for Team Rocket's Trickery, and you win the game. <laughs> Alright, so uh, VS Seeker in his hand. Um, he can... Delinquent, maybe? That doesn't really do anything. Uh, Fighting Fury Belt does save a turn from he being knocked out. He's going to be a Seeker for Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Uh, he actually doesn't have any energies left, so there's no way he's going to attack. But I don't... Um... So, yeah, I mean... Let's see. I mean, there's no way he could have won because Taylor would have bopped him and then bopped him again for the game. Um, so that didn't really matter. So, yeah, he, he lost regardless. Even though Taylor only had two prize cards left, um, she could have bopped him for 110 and bopped him again for 110 to win that game for sure. So in the game number three, all right, guys, let's see what's going to happen. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't even know 
What happened that game? I know Ryan was up by a ton of prize cards and Taylor somehow pulled it out. I mean, I still think not using Hyperspace Fury was like a really crucial thing because he could have mm, he could have Hyperspace Fury the uh, the Guardi and then maybe Mind Jacket for later own. That would have been really cool. I, I don't know. I don't know. It ended up not having enough energies, which is the key thing right there. Just not having the energies to win the game might have hurt him. But what he kept doing was Sycamore and just keep discarding his energies over and over again when he had it in his hand. I think that's the key thing here is you always want to make sure you conserve resources. Uh, he kind of blew through his deck real fast. And I think if he would have done that, it would have been a little bit different. Early game two, he committed like three DCs on that Eva Tall Yaks. And once that was taken down, he didn't have any more DCs left and no way to hit for a ton of damage. Um, like I said, maybe going, I think going the Fright Knight Evil Tall is the correct play. You want to go Fright Knight, put Taylor in a position where she has to end her turn by Mega Evolving and just spreading all the damage around with the Fright Knight. Now, I could be wrong, that might not be the correct play, but I think it's, I think, I think it's probably the best way to go about this. But in a game number three, we go, guys. Who do you want to see win? Do you want the Mega Gardevoir Salamence deck, or do you want the Evatol Zorak deck? Like I said, this is the best of three. 75 minutes. I know it's been 50 minutes so far, and I thank you for sticking around. If you're still watching this, let me know in the comments down below saying, Hey, Squeaky, I'm still here watching this. Listen to your voice. Um, but maybe not. Maybe you're not here. Maybe nobody's here. I don't know. Who knows who's here right now? I don't know. But in a game number three, let's see what's going to happen. I know who wins, but I don't know how they win. So that's the key thing. How is this last game going to play out, guys? And um, we will see what happens here in a second once Ryan gets done shaking up. Uh, but thanks, uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed these last couple videos. It's been really fun. And I do next week. I have another series coming out as well for some live gameplay footage. Hopefully, I fixed the camera. I know this angle was pretty weird, but we still got the game. So that's all that matters. So, seven new cards coming out for both players, and let's see what's going to happen. Looks like Taylor did start with a Hoopa. Oh, no, that's not a Hoopa. That's something else. Okay, she does have a Hoopa, but something else in her hand. All right, so both players are going to set up. Going to get six prize cards out, and let's see what happens in game number three, guys. All right, here we go. Taylor starts with that Hoop Giratina, and Ryan does start with that dreaded Fright Night Eve. That's all. We see a Fighting Fear Bug going down. He has a Floodstone, a Dark Energy. Dark Energy is active, and... Uh, I mean, nothing else in his hand. Yep, that's not a good hand. All right, so pass over to Taylor's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. She got the Hoopa. Don't use Scoundering. Search for three EX Pokemon. And let's see, what does she get here? Maybe Guardy, Guardy. Maybe a Shaman. I don't know what's in her hand. Uh, maybe the Shaman's useless. Uh, maybe she has both prized. See Salamence. I see a Shaman. And there's Shaman. All right. But the thing right now is Taylor needs to find a Xerneas. Because what she can do is she can fairy, fairy energy the active, put down a Xerneas, max looks into it, and uh, Geomancy if she finds a fairy garden. That's the most, like, the perfect world setup. Uh, she's got a max looks here. Look at the top cards of her deck. And there's a fairy energy. Okay, she hits that one. I mean, late last game, she was, like, just sitting there not hitting any max looks. She just sat there, just kept with the max looks here. Just kept not hitting anything, which is not good. All right, so uh, Max looks number one. She has another in hand, okay. So we'll see another Max looks come down. All right, look at the top cards of her deck. Uh, she finds a Fair Energy, gonna put it in the other, okay, the same Guardi, okay. That Guardi is getting some energies right now. He is, he is angry, he is, or she, she? I don't know, he? What is Guardi? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. A Gardevoir is a girl, right? Well, Glade's always a boy. I don't know if Gardevoir is always a boy, a girl. Not sure. But Shame is set up for two new cards. Uh, Fair Energy and a Spearling. There we go. And will she in? Will she Sycamore? Um, she's got a, she could Mega Evolve. There's an attachment for the turn. And does she just pass? Hmm. Uh, Sycamore or not. So yeah, we'll see Sycamore. She's going to discard her hand, draw seven new cards. Uh, I see a Fair Energy. I see a Double Dragon. I see an Ultra Ball. Okay. Um... She's got two Mega Guardies, a Double Dragon, a two Fairies, a Via Seeker, and an Ultra Ball. It's a very complicated hand. Looks like we might see an Ultra Ball. 
Okay. Nope, maybe not. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We could just see a pass. I think passing here is fine. Um, yeah, we'll see a pass on a riot turn. All right, so on a riot turn, let's see what he does. He's gonna draw a card. Does he find a DCE to swing? Does he find a supporter card? There's a Zora coming down. Okay. He's got a Team Flare Gun, so he can discard the Fair Energy off the active. There's a Flowstone Zora. Team Flare Gun, discard the Fair Energy, and uh, we'll see a pass. That's not good. All right, so on a Taylor's turn. She can just Mega Evolve right now, which is not too bad. She can Mega Evolve and attach to the bench, uh, which is really good. I think it's a fine play for sure. You just like energy the bench, Mega Evolve, and the next turn, Double Dragon Retreat and swing it for a ton of damage. Um, but let's see, does she do that or not? Uh, she's got a Fair Energy to the active. I don't know if I like that. We know it's in his hand. We know he has a VS Seeker. Um, like I said, I'd rather him, I'd rather Taylor put energy on the... Uh, own the bench Gardevoir and just Mega Evolve. I think that's a better play for sure. Um, but let's see, what does Taylor want to do here? She's got a sick one with the discard pile, and she is just going to Mega Evolve. But we know Ryan has a VS Seeker in his hand. He get VS Seeker uh, for the team floor, discard the energy off the active. Is that a, did he type like a DC? I don't see one. I do not see one. All right, so let's see. Um, <laughs> this is not going good for Ryan. So via Seeker for Team Flare Gun, discard that Fear Energy, and uh, we'll see a pass on a Taylor's turn. The Taylor finds a Max looks here. Okay, she has a now. She has to give it another Energy. All right, what she could do is Ultra Ball discard a Xerneas Break and a Mega Gardevoir, or a Fear Energy. The one's fine. Um, discard a Mega Gardevoir, and with this, you grab a Xerneas. Then you. Max looks into the bench, Cernius, double dragon the active, and Sycamore trying to find a fairy garden. If you could do this, you can uh, swing for a ton of damage the following turn. So Max looks here, and there's a fairy G. Oh, she puts it, okay. Like I said, I'd rather put it on the Xerneas. Uh, I think, yeah, I think you still put it on the Xerneas, so that way you get Geomancy to put two more energies on the field, okay. She's going to attach it to Gardevoir. Oh, man, because now she has to put a double dragon on the active this turn. All right, so double dragon on the active. Well, via Seeker for Sycamore. I don't think you play in because, there's yeah, you play Sycamore, discard your hand, draw seven cards. Does she find a, uh, there's a Max Luxor? Okay. All right, what does Max Luxor? She needs to put on the Xerneas if she hits it. But does she have a Fairy Garden? I do not see one in her hand right now. All right, so we'll see. Oh, she does have a Fairy Garden. So she can max Luxor, put energy on the Xerneas, and then Geomancy. She'll be 4 for 4 if she does pull this off, though. Alright, so max Luxor. Alright, there's... Okay, there we go. So now the Xerneas gets the energy. There we go. Alright. So now we'll see a Fairy Guard come down, retreat, and we'll see a Geomancy. And I mean, Taylor is set up right now. She is a, a force to be reckoned with. So let's do a retreat. Send the Xerneas, and she will Geomancy get two Fairy Energies on the field. It is not looking good for Ryan right now. You gotta think, how is he gonna win this game? Taylor has a ton of energies on the field. She's got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 240 damage is what she is doing right now. Wow. Alright, so on the Ryan's turn, I mean, you, you gotta be crying a little bit on the inside if you're Ryan here. Alright, he's gonna draw a card. Max looks like the top cards of his deck. Does he find a dark energy? But his hand is pretty bad. There's a dark, Zork, Max looks there, okay. So you get dark, the Eve of Tony X. I think I saw a Lysander. If it is a Lysander, he can bring up the Hoopy X and maybe get stuck in the Axe spot. But all Taylor needs is a Fairy Energy thanks to that Fairy Garden. But that's his only play right now. If he leaves the Xerneas in the Axe spot, that Mega Gardevoir is coming up and it's, it has taken knockouts for sure. So see a Lysander, bring up the Hoopa. All right. So we see a pass on a Taylor's turn. Uh, she gets a Fairy Garden. Okay. Now, Taylor, what she could do is just via Seeker for Sycamore, discard her hand, draw seven new cards, trying to find a fair energy um, just to start swinging and taking knockouts. If she does this, she'll be in, like so far ahead. So, Trainer's Mail, uh, there's a Guardian Sphere Link, okay. She can Guardian Sphere Link the other Guardian where that's not evolved, and that way, um, just to get out of her deck, first of all, that's the key thing right there. So, Sphere Link did one that's not evolved, okay. I think you just sick more. I think you just sick more. Go crazy. There's another terrain as well. I don't see another fairy to in her hand. 
But you can grab Hex Maniac, um, just so it's not in your deck anymore. I think this is a fine play for sure. Ryan doesn't really rely on abilities too much besides Shamans. And um, I think right now you just need to find energy. Treat the Hoopa. All right, she's not going to grab anything. Okay. But does Taylor find a fair energy? That is the big question. Uh, she has three, four, five, six on the field. Okay. And we're going to see an end. All right, so she's going to end. Give Ryan a new hand. I don't know how much I like this. Like I said, I'd rather her just like Sycamore, discard her hand, draw seven new cards, trying to find a fair energy, and start using Brilliant Arrow to take a ton, just, just start taking knockouts, and you're going to be so far ahead. She should win this game, but she's going to end, give Ryan a new life. He can finally start playing some cards if he finds something. And does Taylor find an energy? I do not see one, but Ryan does find a DCE. Oh no, that's not good for Taylor. So Taylor finds a super rod, going to shuffle three. Fair energy's back in her deck. There's one, there's two, and there's three. So she has three energies in the discard pile. Wow, that's, that's not good. She had a 9 of Ross. So there's the fairy energies that she wants so bad. Uh, she unfortunately did not find them. They might, they must have been all been discarded or some prized as well. So, let's see, all right? So, what will Taylor do? Does she have any way? She don't have anything else in her hand. She'll probably just pass on to Ryan's turn. All right, so Ryan's going to draw a card. He does have a DC, and he can start using that, uh, uh, that pitch black spear. So, I'm going to put a dark energy on the evil tall X. What he could do is pitch Black Spear, hit the Hooper for 60, and hit the Mega Gardevoir for 60 as well. And uh, just start racking damage on that bench Mega Gardevoir, which I think is the best thing to do right now. Alright, so we'll see a DC going to the active. Alright, uh, even saw EX coming down. We'll see, yeah, come on DC to the active, a train as well, alright. So look at the top cards of his deck, and let's see what does he find. He finds an energy, Max looks here, okay. He can grab another Max Luxer, but instead of powering up uh, the same Dark Rai, I think you power up the new Dark Rai. Uh, he still doesn't have a supporter card in his hand, though. I see Hex, Maniac, and something else. So grab an N. I do not think you play this in. You definitely hold on to the end. There's no reason to play this in. You see him shaking his hand like, no, I'm not playing it. I'm just grabbing my hand, uh, which I think is a correct play. I think you just say, hey, you take a knock on next turn. I'm going to end you kind of thing. Um... So yeah, gonna put a DC on the active. Okay. Does he play in? There's a delinquent. Discarding the fairy garden. Ooh, wow. So discard the fairy garden. Taylor had to discard three cards. So discards a guardian, discards a spirit link, and discards a and all right. But she has a spirit link and a via secret her hand. And we're gonna see a blivering or uh, pitch black spirit do a six is active and six is to the bench mega gardevoir. Alright, on a Taylor's turn, she's gonna draw to Xerneas. She's got a Fairy Garden, Via Seeker, Sycamore, discard her hand, draw seven new cards. All right, can she find a Fairy Energy? If she does, she will take a knock on this turn by retreating. And uh, does she find one? All right, she does find a Fairy Energy. So she can put a Fairy Energy on the active. Retreat and take a knockout this turn. All right, but can Ryan take a knockout the following turn? No, there's no way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 170 minus 20 is 150. Actually, he can. If he finds a DC, he can take a knockout on that Mega Gardevoir. All right, so Fair G's active. Okay. Um, we'll see your treat. And we'll see Mega Gardevoir taking a knockout, doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 210. Oh, no. Two. Oh my goodness. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 270 damage, but Taylor is now realizing if she sends this Gardevoir, it can be knocked out by that E of Ataliax. But I think you're okay. I think you still swing for the knockout. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, 70 minus 20 is 150. We see Zora coming down. Okay. And he's going to draw a card. I think there's another Zora hitting the field. Okay. He's got it in, but if he finds a DC, he can take a knockout this turn. There's an in. Both players are going to shuffle up. He's going to get six. Taylor's going to get five. But remember, Taylor has, like, not that many energies left in her deck. She already, she played a Super Rod shuffle one back in her deck. Uh, she played one down, so she might only have one Fairy left. I'm not 100% sure. Um, she has one in her discard pile. She has three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, I mean, she she might be close to be out of energies. So does Ryan find a DC, though? If he does, he will take a knockout this turn. All right, all right. I I do not see one, though. He's got an enhanced chamber. He could discard the double dragon off that Giratina. So 
So hit hand saver, discard the double dragon with the Giratina. Okay. He's got an Ultra Ball. What he could do is Ultra Ball for a Shaman. Uh, to try to dig for this DCE. So let's see what two cards he discards. This card's a Lysander. And, uh, oh, maybe not. Hold on. He's looking. He's deciding what to do here. He got some Moonless Madness. He wants to go crazy. Discards a Sound Lab, something else, to grab a Shaman, most likely, to try to dig for a DC. It, oh, there's three darks at the bottom of his stack. Wow. All right, so there's a Shaman. Okay, does he find a DC? If he does, he will take a knockout. I see two or three in his deck overall. Okay, so Shaman coming out. He can also find an Energy plus a Max Luxor to take a knockout as well if, if that combo comes up. And if that happens, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12. Taylor can only do 120 damage or 150 with another Energy attachment for the new Guardi. All right, but does he find a DC? Let's see. Let's find out, guys. All right, we'll see Shaman coming down. He's doing some math right now. If he finds a DC, it is a knockout. So Shaman setting up for four new cards. One, two, three, and four. Did he find a DC? There's a Zork coming down. Okay. Um, He can mind jack the start, but I, de I definitely think you go for an Eva Ball knockout. Um, He's de contemplating which one. So we put a decent, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 160, minus 20 is 140? Oh, but it's 10 plus 30, so yeah. Yeah, it's still a knockout, so 150, that's still the same amount of damage. Okay, so take a knockout, going down to uh, four price cards, okay. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh wait, would that do the math wrong? I must have done math wrong too. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. Yeah, minus 20. It's only 200. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. I actually did the math right at first. Yeah, 200. Um, so he could have taken a knockout. He, Like I said, he could have put a DC on this Evital and taken a knockout on that Mega Gardevoir, but actually he did not do that. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, yeah, that, that guy has 200 HP. He has 10 damage short. Oh my goodness. Just barely missed it. But if he, would have, if he would have put a DC on that bench, even though he would have taken a knockout, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 170 minus 20 is 150. Yeah, that would have been a knockout. But on Taylor's turn, let's see what happens. She's got a, a, a double dragon. She's got a fair energy. There's an ultra ball. And with this ultra ball, she can grab another mega guard of war. All right, so she's got a double dragon, fairy, and a Skyla. It's a very interesting hand to discard, because if she... She can discard the double dragon to get out a Mega Gardevoir. Okay. So she needs to do that. This Mega Gardevoir about to fall. So Mega Gardevoir coming down. Okay. She could fear to do the other Gardevoir. But I think I'd rather have discarded the Light or the Skyla instead. Uh, because you can discard the Skyla, attach an energy per turn, and then next turn put down the double dragon. So see if fear to that guy. She can retreat, and I'll take a knockout this turn, which is fine. But I think I'd rather have the double dragon of my hand, because right now she is not following up a knockout if Ryan can somehow knock out the bench guardy. So right now she's doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, uh, 240. Okay, so she's doing 240 damage, which is enough to knock out the uh, Zork. Okay. Alright, so it's going to be 3 to 6 prize cards. Um, yeah, she's doing way more than enough damage. But I wonder what math she's doing right now. Does she license up an Evital Yex? She could do that to take a knockout, the one with the two energies on it, because 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 240. So she can license the one with the two energies on it, and uh, yeah, that could be good. So yeah, license the one with two energies on it. <clears throat> She's going to take a knockout, going down to three price cards. But in her hand right now, it's just a Skyla. So see a knockout. She'll go down to three. Okay. And let's see, what can Ryan do here? Gonna put the Zork. Oh, no, gonna put the Zor with the Flowstone. All right, so gonna draw a card. And let's see what happens. He has a Fighting Field. Gonna put the new Evital. Gonna put a Dark Energy on it. He can, via Secret for a Lysander, knock out the Xerneas, or knock out the Gardevoir with all the damage on it. Oh, but what does that do? I'm not 100% sure. He is definitely going for the, the Lysander this turn to knock out um, the Gardevoir. He'll stand in. I took a knockout, going down to three. But the Taylor can do three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Enough to knock out the Zork. Okay. So Ryan is in the pickle, I'm not gonna lie to you. How does he deal with this new Gardevoir is the big question. 
Hmm. So yeah, he'll take a knockoff short start and he's doing uh, more than enough damage. Uh, he'll go down to four price cards, okay. Alright, so he's gonna grab the same two that he accidentally grabbed earlier, but that's fine. It's a Sycamore and uh, something else. Okay, so in Taylor's turn, gonna put that Gardevoir. Uh, she's gonna draw a card. There's a VS Seeker, okay. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Uh, she cannot knock out that Evatol. He's got too much HP left, even with the energy, but that's still not enough. So. <clears throat> Let's see what is going to happen here, guys. This is going to be a weird. I mean, she's going to go down to two prize cards. All she has to do the following turn is take a knockout. What she could do is be a seeker for life center, bring up the shaman to go down to one prize card. All right, so you're going to bring up the, sh the shaman, <clears throat> going to take a knockout. And uh, how is Ryan going to win this? She's going to go down to one prize card. Oh my goodness. She's going to attach energy to probably the Giratina. To give it that free treat later on. And what is going to happen here? Um, hmm. So is he a knockout? He goes down to one prize card. Alright, so Taylor, uh, Ryan's turn. He's going to top deck up DCE, which really doesn't do anything right now. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. All, all Taylor needs to do is attach energy plus a license to win the game uh, the next turn. <coughs> so... Ryan has a DC. He could mind jack this turn. Um, for 3, 6, 9, 12. For 130. Minus 20 is 110. But then Taylor finds the energy. She wins. Um, how will this pan out? That is how. How does Ryan win this game? I don't know. We'll see. Does he win this game or not? Right now, you cannot send the, the Evatol. If you send the Evatol, it's getting knocked out. Taylor has energy in hand. We know that. We saw her get it back with the Eater Retrieval. So we're seeing energy on the active. He's actually going to go for Moonless Madness. Okay. Did not see that play coming. I did not see a Moonless Madness. Okay, we will see a Moonless Madness. All right. So he's going to confuse the active. And uh, all right. So to, yeah, it's going to be down to this Gardevoir being confused. It'll hit itself for 30 if she flips tails. Um, Taylor could just retreat though and Geomancy this turn. I uh, see energy going on Shaman, okay. And let's see what can she do here. Like I said, she could retreat in Geomancy this turn. She wants to do that. She can retreat to the Giratina and pass as well. Um, do you attack or not? That's the big question. I don't think so. I think you like Skyla to see what's left your deck or Trainer's Ball or something. So, unless he does, she retreat or not. Um, I definitely don't think he retreat to Giratina because Ryan could Chaos Will with a stadium play and put her in, herself in, put her tra Taylor in trouble. So, see Taylor bring up the Xerneas, maybe? Oh, they're going to bring up the Shaman. I don't know if I like that play. Shaman can easily be knocked out by the Zorak. So, on Ryan's turn, okay. Going to draw a card. He can put a DC on this Evatol EX and Mind Jack for the knockout. 3, 6, 9, 12. That's 130 damage. Um, Yeah, I don't know if I like that play at all. The DC to the Evatol. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So on that guy, we'll see. She, even, she could have Skyla last turn too. So we'll see it in. Uh, going to put Taylor down on 1. Ryan's going to get 4. And Ryan will Mind Jack for a ton of damage for the knockout. And then what he can do the following turn is a life center up the hoopa with the one energy to win the game. Uh, yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, which is enough for the knockout. All right, so let's see, will this pay out? I'm not sure why Taylor promoted the Shaman. I definitely would have promoted the Xerneas. All right, so we'll see Ryan get 40 cards. One, two, three, and four. All right, I see a Max Luxor, which you do. I think you Max Luxor for sure. You play your hand down as much as you can. You got a parallel city, put Taylor down to three. Okay. And uh wow. Okay, so I means she likes to discard one Pokemon. Uh oh, did, she, did he put himself down to three? It looks like he put himself down to three instead. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty yeah, that's better play for sure. Because you put Taylor down to three, she can discard the hoop, but then you take away your winning condition. Yeah. So we'll see Ryan. Probably retreat and mind jack for the knockout, okay. She's going, she's going, okay, he put, no, he put Taylor down to three. Okay, all right, never mind. Never mind. So Max looks here. Going to look at the top of the cards of his deck. Okay. 
Go put a dark energy on the Evatol. All right. All right. And uh, let's see. The Eva Balls, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, there's no way he's knocking that Mega Guard of War still has too much HP. Uh, can he knock out the Giratina though? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's actually going to promote the. Okay. Oh, you can't promote the, the Zarg because then she can just take a knockout because uh, three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah. So here comes Evil Saul. It's Evil Saul versus the world right now. So Gardevoir coming up. I forgot that she can't pick. She can't my Jack or she, he will lose the game. All right. So is he a Sycamore? If I'm Taylor, I might have grabbed the Skyla to see if there's a VS Secret left in your deck. Because right now you're not taking a knockout. You're doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Unless you have a double dragon left in there. So she's shaming. Uh, setting up. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is there a double dragon left in the deck? If there is, she could play that and win the game this turn. Because 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Which would be enough for a knockout. How many double dragons are left in her deck? Uh, okay, alright, alright, alright. Let's see... I see one double dragon. I see. I think I just see one double dragon. I could see it wrong. Uh, is it left in her deck? If she has a double dragon left, she can win the game right now, guys. Let's see what is going to happen. What is she going to do? Is she going to Sycamore? Is she going to end? Um, she has one prize card left. If she has a VS Seeker, she brings up the Zora, the Zora for knockout. That's for sure. Okay. All right, so let's see what would Taylor do here. She's debating what to do. Camera get moved around some. That's fine. Everybody loves hitting the camera for some reason. Even though it's against the wall, which is very confusing. All right, so will she Sycamore? Um, does she? Is that a VC in her hand? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Okay. All right, they're just figuring out what to do here. What can Taylor do to win this turn? All right, so we're going to see a Sycamore discard her hand, draw seven of cards. And she does not have energy left in his prize. And she will, unfortunately, lose this game. She will deck out. I mean, that's how Ryan lost last game. But, I mean, if she, uh, he had the VS Seeker anyway, I don't know what that he would have done. Oh, he would have VS Seeker for the Shaman to win the game. And there we go. Ryan advances to the finals of the Memphis uh, not City Championship of the League Cup. So there we go, guys. Uh, my, Ryan will advance with the Evatol Zorak deck. Like I said, in round number three, these two players did play it out, and Taylor did, uh, and did defeat Ryan pretty easily. This time around, she did struggle because of that. I'm pretty sure because they're fighting on Evatol. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.